Another thing I did uh, was a quick resolder of all the connections along the turn stack. Now I know that Nick uh, did point something out to me. For example, let me go and find one. If you look here, you can see some of the uh, tubing that I used to protect the cables it goes off into the solder. Not a good idea, he said. Uh, it'll work fine for now, but later on you're going to get trouble. So what I intend to do before I put the amp away is to just redo those connections uh, where that's happened. There aren't many of them, but there's, a, there's two or three and they need solving. So that'll be one of the things I do. Anyway, back to what the problem was. Uh, this thing here, uh, you see I put a little black dot on it these days. A little black dot on the board. If you can see that down in the board. Yeah, you can. Well, that just makes sure they're the right way around. And, and, and there's also another one hidden under there, which uh, needs to be the right way around. If it isn't, you get all sorts of trouble. And as you can see from it, it's not actually obvious which way around it fits. And it doesn't really show you on the circuit diagram which way around it fits. So it's one of those things that nobody knows the answer to. Fancy that. It's one of the problems with the documentation, and this is why I did the site, really, uh, to help people understand what fits where, in which way. In fact, while I'm on the subject, let's just talk of these. I have these set up as base, middle, treble for the, uh, you know, the overdrive channel. This one down here is for the pie of uh, this tube here, which is the, the tube that works with all that. That just balances it all up. And uh, what was the other one? This one here is for the overall uh, overdrive strip distortion of the overdrive channel. So that pulls them together. That one there is for your bias, the external bias. Okay, let's come back to this board here. What happened was this. Let me take a close look down here. Let me see this red wire, this one. There. I removed this board, uh, or moved it back, and removed the other one. In fact, I, re I removed all the boards and had this close look, but on this particular board, what, what I found was that red wire there that had been soldered in has a connection wire to one of the pins on the relay and it's uh, just a, an open bright wire if you follow me it's a bit like uh, it's like what you see on the end of for example one of these resistors here like this okay well it was soldered perfectly it looked just like just like it does now in fact pretty good really let me back off a bit yeah, looks well, okay. But in actual fact, uh, what the truth was, was that this silver wire underneath had a connection that was bad. Of course, I couldn't tell that. There's no way you can tell, except when you're playing the amp and it turns off, or it goes into non-distortion mode and one volt output, or I should say one watt output. That was basically the problem. So, how long did it take to find? Hours on end. Hours on end. It took me 14 hours to build the amp and 5 hours to fix the problems. And there weren't many problems. God help if you can't solder or you didn't this or you can't that or... For a large part you can't read the documentation because there's very little. Fancy that. So, hopefully this site's going to help you make everything rock and roll. Let's take another one on last look of this, uh, this amp. There we go. Might just help somebody somewhere. I don't think anybody else has done anything like this. Don't know why. It's just the way people are. Let's go down and have a look at the bits of the matter. <coughs> Soldering's not the best, but hey, it works.
camera I'm looking at it yeah, from uh, the wrong way up. Grounding isn't uh, connected on this app. Apparently, it's illegal in the UK. A bit more down here. Another thing uh, to look at is when you're doing the power supply, just make sure you get the correct zero volts for the correct volts if you follow me so this is the six volt zero volt don't take a zero volt from over here say and use it with that one uh, you can't do that but at least i don't think you can so when you're doing your 50 volt there's your 50 volt there's a zero volt use those two don't use this zero volt here use that one same all the way across the thing uh, just get everything right this one's set up by the way for 240 volts I know it's 230 on the thing. That's all they've got. There's no 240 volt option. Another thing I found, by the way, uh, there's no actual ground pin on this power transformer. It says in the schematic that there is, but actually there isn't. Again, it's another anom anomaly that uh, can just drive you crazy. What else we got? When you're doing this thing. That's good fun. Build that on the bench and fit it later. That's the answer to that. Another thing Nick said, uh, particularly with my soldering, <laughs> was that, let me find a good example. There's a good example. If you look at that wire there, the one in the centre in particular, is just stuck through the thing and soldered in. What Nick says to do uh, is always make a mechanical connection. That means bend the ends over and, and wrap it round at least a turn so that uh, the thing can't come off whether the solder there or not and then solder it to the to the pin and, and that, that's the correct way. Not necessarily the way that I did it but that's life. You learn as you go. Bear in mind this is my first build. Okay we'll move along a bit. Stuff along here. Remember, this is just the way that I did it. You might have some better way. You'll probably need to think a bit because of the documentation. Grab things. Let's move this out of the way. Out of the way. Difficult to solder, but uh, they work okay. There's another one of my classic uh, pieces of uh, soldering. You can see no wrap around, nothing. See it there? Uh, so I'm going to redo that. That was also fun. Uh, down at the input. The input, in my view, didn't seem to be uh, right on the diagram. Although you know, ultimately I did get it right, but no thanks to the diagram. Uh, it, you can be interpreting uh, the way that goes in two ways. And one last thing is, back to my favourite subject on this app, it's this thing here. It just pushes into that socket, nothing holds it in place, and you could argue that well, it's not going to fall out, the amp's upside down, but hey listen, you throw your amp around a bit, that thing's going to fall out. I'm going to make uh, a couple of little stickies that I'll actually uh, mount on the side of it and go down and stick on the circuit board just to stop it falling out and I'm going to do the same with the other one hey but nobody told me to do that guess what, so what okay that really completes the uh, the view of the underside and uh, show you a few more pics in a minute when you see the case <laughs>